Matthews for a look at what else this week has in store for us. Mary. Yeah, I know. Do you feel the cooler breeze today? It's great. It's the it's the thing that, you know, authors write romance novels oh. about. You know, they you set the so. scene. It was a cool breeze on a warm day. I don't know. I don't read romance no novels. I just figured that's probably what they do. Anyway, sorry, that was not, I didn't go over well. 88 degrees in Oklahoma City right now, 94 in Dallas, 84 in Colorado Springs. We're a good 10 to 11 degrees cooler uh, at this hour versus this time yesterday. We were about 102 degrees in La Junta yesterday, uh, certainly breaking a record here in Colorado Springs. We topped that at 95 yesterday, so certainly cooler. Uh, that cooler push of air, you'll notice that trough of low pressure right up towards south central sections of Montana. Uh, that is really where most of the bulk moisture and energy is located. Uh, those folks in Montana, unfortunately, getting a little too much of a good thing, which is a lot of rain uh, combined with the warm temperatures, the snow melt. It is just causing massive flooding in that region. Wednesday is still going to be fairly quiet, sunny and warm, but overall it's still going to be by long stretch even cooler tomorrow. What I do want to show you though is this. So we've got a, a area of low pressure coming in across the Pacific Northwest. Uh, so you'll notice that's going to increase that moisture flow coming in from the Pacific. Alongside with that high pressure building in across parts of the southeast, you'll notice that here, that is going to help to pull in some moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. Those two components combined will yield higher chances for afternoon thunderstorms by this weekend. So let's talk about that. Uh, you will notice that uh, more storms are firing up uh, just north of Colorado Springs, east of Denver International Airport. Most of the moisture again up towards Montana, uh, but we will remain mostly dry overnight tonight. So no widespread thunderstorm activity expected here in our region. It will just be a little bit of a cooler night in the 40s to low 50s. Notice that most of the smoke uh, really pushes south with that cold front continuing that southerly progression overnight tonight and through early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is going to be a clearer day, uh, more of a crisp view of the mountains tomorrow. You won't notice that haze quite as much. 85 degrees in Colorado Springs tomorrow, 70s in parts of Manitou Springs and Woodland Park, 89 in Canyon City and 90 in Los Animas, 89 in Lamar. So even cooler for us tomorrow. Woodland Park, it will be a gradual warming trend back up into low 80s for uh, the latter portion of the work week, then we'll get a nice little flow of moisture coming in as we were just talking about uh, there on that graphic. Those two components combined will give us the chance for afternoon showers and thunderstorms. So if you have outdoor plans, especially for Father's Day, the earlier those plans uh, are <laughs> for the day, the better because after 2 p.m. when we get to that prime time heating uh, between that to again 2 and 5 p.m. time frame, that is usually where that highest probability of pop up showers and storms are going to be and that will be the case for the weekend. Canyon City 89 degrees on Wednesday, plenty of sunshine for the latter portion of the work week and then we are slightly cooler for the weekend, but that is only attributed to a little rain cold air and cloud cover into the afternoon hours. So I think our temperatures will kind of cap off in the 80s as a result of those afternoon afternoon thunderstorm chances both Saturday and for Sunday. All right, we'll take the rain. That's for sure, mm -hmm. Mary. Thanks. We have seen the wild images of catastrophic flooding at yesterday.